All right, thanks. Uh, I'm from St Stitch Fix. I guess majority of the people in the room probably are already heard about this new company in the Silicon Valley. Um, uh, just a little bit heads up. I I think I originally thought this talk was for the for the data track. Somehow may, maybe that that was my mistake, and this uh, uh, is put in the f in the functional track. So I guess I I will focus more on the like a high level design, and instead of the real implementation. Uh, so. Uh, I will go over a little bit about the context for this internal project we are doing as Stitch Fix, and especially um, so. You, so you, I guess you guys' audience can understand why we want to do this. Why we cannot use an existing time series database to do this. Um, then I will go over some of the high-level uh, design and implementation of uh, of Tracer. Um, so. I guess how many people are already familiar with what our, our, our company do? <laughs> All right. So it's basically a personalized styling service. I guess majority of the fashion company in the US, they have had a on in, 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 in New York, but we are probably only maybe uh, maybe two exceptions. Like on the, on, uh, on here, uh, we had a quarter in San Francisco. Um, to majority of the, our user, we feel like uh, uh, they they think us as a ma magic black box with certain kind of certain kind of artificial intelligence. Like um, there are actually some user they they try to like uh, they try to like uh, educate all, all the other peers. Like uh, there's a certain tr tricks to, to to cheat our system. Like uh, you report your age like two two years or three years old uh, three years younger. We may recommend something better. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, uh, but. What happened internally um, is we are combining the recommendation algorithm with our human stylist curation. Um, so there's a long history of why we do this. Uh, we actually internally test uh, if we only rely on recommendation algorithm and only rely on human. They are both worse than the combination of, uh, of these two. So that, that's what we do here. Um, there's a link here. Uh, we have a, we create a, uh, like a pretty fancy data visualization to like a walk you through all the process we do inter internally in our data team in, in order to like a enable enable this kind of work. Um, so why does this talk is focused on uh, our internal database tracer, uh, like per, uh, which is an inventory service? So why do we care about inventory? Um, so when you think about this as a recommendation uh, uh, problem, we want to recommend to each client what they may like. Um, but on the other hand, we need, need to have stuff in the inventory in order to make recommendation. You can't really make any recommendation if you don't have good content, just, just like in the case of Netflix. When they first did, they discovered the power of recommendation, then they quickly realized they need good content. Um, so, on the other hand, the recommendation algorithm actually work in two ways. We uh, we we normally call this the way like a, a re reverse a a algorithm, in the concept that if you know this client. You know that kind of client. What kind of inventory should we prepare? Uh, should we prepare for this kind of uh, client? So that's also a, in a re recommendation a ta task that we recommend to the mer merchandise team. We, we need that kind of inventory. Um, so we are not only providing. Uh, in order to provide good recommendation for each client, we really need a personalized. Entry, um, to serve good re recommendation. Here is just a flow of the thing for e each item in our warehouse. They have to, uh, they have to go through these different stages, and in the eventually uh, they will end up in the in in the in the box we send to the final client. So an item in the warehouse, the first first, they have to be available, and they have to be then they have to be qualified. 
qualify basically ideas that the client will like specify they don't want certain material. For for example, like a polymer. Okay, we will never send any polymer. Um, that has great impact on the inventory actually. Um, then, then that list of uh, inventory will go through the our recommendation algorithm, and we, it will, um, then that algorithm will only recommend a small set of things we think will uh, has a high highest possibility that the client will buy. So studies will only see a very small set. So uh, in in the sense that they can finish this task as soon as possible. Otherwise, I mean the. W uh, otherwise, one of the value pr proposition of Stitch Fix services we save time for our client. I if you're gonna spend like an hour online shopping, and our stylist only spends f 15 minutes, then that's the value. Um, so then, stylist will select five items uh, in the f in the box, and uh, and finally uh, they were they were check 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 check. It's kind of like, like online shopping, but they are. Doing online shopping for client, not for themselves. So in this context, uh, we need a time series database so we can understand what's going on in the inventory at any point of time. The when stylist uh, was uh, when stylist are working on uh, this, this kind of inventory for this given uh, the, 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 this client. So then I'm gonna. Go over a little bit the design of the tracer. This is a, uh, a, a, little, a little bit abstract. I, I apologize in, in advance. Uh, let's see the time. Uh, so, tracer is basically a consume uh, I, I, I item events to in order to like continuously consume item events in order to build a time series database. But when we think about what kind of item events, what, what kind of uh, time series we want to build. There are more, more, multiple solutions, actually. Um, probably because the, the, the term time series is kind of ill defined. Um, this is one example. Let's say we want to have um, a time series of skill count. Skill basically means uh, some minimal uh, kind of stuff you can have mul multiple. Uh, you have have some certain quantity in your warehouse. Um, so this time series like a, the the count for skill one at time uh, at time one. So we get events. Um, then we get another events in time two. Uh, then and and go on. So question is how can we build uh, something that can tell us the count for this given skill at any given point of time. Because the th this time T1, T2, T3 are, they are discrete. Um, so one of the quick response, you can say, uh, oh, this is uh, asking too much. I mean, uh, if, we are, you, if you want to qu query this state at any given point in time, I mean, even within a, a second, that's probably too much. Let's just do it, like uh, say, let's do a, uh, well, let's generate this time series at a predefined interval, say 10 minutes. Um, so we, basically we snapshot the transaction database from engineering team every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes we do a count, uh, uh, we do a group by count from the engineering database, because engineering database, they wo work on the item level. Every item is a row. They ha have to work on that level. But we, we are caring, we, we, uh, in, the, in the data team, we care more about the, like, the, the quantity of the thing, not for e each individual item. So this is actually when, th th this, a actually, uh, th th this is a solution what uh, we had like before we, we built Tracer. We constantly, Calling send a query to the in engineering database, and to the point that they they, they really hate us, I guess, because <laughs> you're sending a create a constant pre 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 pressure to their production database, and majority of the time, and this query is kind of a kind of waste of lots of computing power on their database, and also in during the during the Busy time during the peak hours, like uh, in within a day, um, 
it's not very re reliable. Sometimes this query takes more, more a couple minutes to finish. So we cannot guarantee the interval is always 10 minutes. Uh, another problem is uh, there during the very busy, the, during the busiest hour of the day, like uh, we can have too many things. Even a, a couple hundred events, like that kind of event, I can't change. I can happen in every second. And we really want to understand what's going on. And we can't really tell from these 10 minute snapshot. Like for example, like uh, there are, for especially some very popular item, you see there, the, the quantity in these snapshots is all, 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 always zero, which means they're not available. But if you look at transaction log, there are many transactions happen between these 10 minutes, uh, within these 10 minutes. So which means like uh, the, as, as soon as something like uh, available in the inventory for this given popular item, stylists will, will just, will, will just go grab, grab it, then it becomes zero again. <laughs> so that's like kind of the, 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 that's what happened in, in, the, uh, in the inventory dynamics. Um, so we, we really want to know exactly what stylists saw when they actually start, uh, when they actually in, uh, in, in our internal styling tool. Uh, snap, 10 minute snapshots is just not enough. So another solution, we can go to another extreme. Okay, let's do uh, every second. Of course, that's not gonna be realistic uh, for the in engineering side. I mean, we already create enough, like a, a, enough, enough load on their database. And even if we, uh, we only query their, like a, they have a re re replicas of the, of the main tran tran transaction database, so we only query, we only snapshot against the, 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 the slave, but still that slowed down the ma master because we hold, we slow down the synchronization between these, uh, between the ma mass and the slave. Um, and, uh, and also they are, uh, as I said, engineering database work on the item level, which means we, they always have to continuously do the, do the, do the group by. Uh, pretty, um, pretty much is a wasted computation. Um, they, uh, of course, they can maintain a count table, but I guess they don't want. Um, another issue is like a f during, during midnight, which is a ma majority of status, we only have market currently in the US, so ma ma majority of the status that work in the US, uh, I probably should say all. Um, you can imagine during midnight, there's not many thing like mo move in and out in the inventory. Uh, so I if we're doing this every second, that's pe basically pretty much pointless. Uh, so another idea is like, okay, fixed interval. If we want to construct a fixed interval like a time series, uh, it's not going to work in, 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 in these above cases. So let's do it in, a, in, in, in another way. So we only generate events like when something happened to, to the to, to the to the skill only the only the skill like uh, only the count when the count change happened we will generate events and 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 create this string in this way uh, this is actually an interesting idea because uh, uh, probably uh, uh, pr probably you you are remember in the morning the in, during the keynotes uh, the speaker Helena mentioned the um, time series you can, in, in one way, you think about this, uh, it's about time, but also time can be defined as I events, as, as, you, as we flow through all the events. That, that's the de definition of time. So in, in this sense, like, uh, so we have a var variable, the, this t1, t2, t3 can happen at any, any time. Um, we, we don't guarantee. Uh, we don't have any guarantee uh, they're gonna have happen every second or every 10 minutes. Um, again, uh, there's still constraint on the in engineering. They have to uh, uh, still have to do aggregation. Another problem in this solution is uh, T1 and T2 can be far away to each other. Uh, in the case that the item is really unpopular, there's no events happening like to change the quant quantity of that one. And if we want to know that quantity of that item at a certain point of time, that between the T1 and T2, 
we have we, we may have to go back to a very long long uh, to in order to find the t1 then we can tell okay uh, the state uh, the count for this thing is a count one at t1 because that's the only thing can have can happen um, so imagine um, in this stream uh, this is just a, uh, th th in this stream there are multiple skills so if the for this given skill one uh, we want to have to go back that far we have which means we have to go back through all kinds of other unrelated uh, skills that happen in between in, in order to decide this count for this for the, for this skill uh, of course there's a there's a solution from computer science like we can index we can in index the time so it will be quickly uh, we can quickly locate the that 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 point of time in 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 this string uh, but we have to increase index for each skill that's too much we have a uh, tens of thousands of skill in the in the warehouse um, so Another way we're gonna think about is to we only record the we only record the state transition in the in in this string. Um, the advantage is that we defer the process to translate uh, de 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 defer the process how we're gonna use this transition. We can say in this case we only care about the count. So all, only these transition that affect the quantity of the skill, we, we will later turn that into a, another string. Uh, in other cases, we care about, our, okay, on, we only care about things got damaged or got mi 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 missing or things got re returned. Uh, there are many kinds of events. Um, so that give us some f f f flexibility. We can turn that into a change. In this case, I, I call them delta. Delta basically means the change in the, in the quantity. Uh, with that, uh, we can construct the uh, state, uh, basically construct the count for any skill as long as we have an initial state to, s to start with. This is actually what uh, we actually do in, inside the tracer. The, the, this is the final solution we, we, we decide to construct the, in, in the streaming in input data. Uh, so tracer can, can use this. So in summary, uh, the whole design can be summarized as uh, two pure functions. Uh, one is inventory state function. We only need to, the only parameter is time, t. The other thing is the transition. It can be including many state transition you can think of. Uh, and we can reversely uh, apply this transition in, in order to, uh, to compute the, uh, the, the change between two states in the inventory. Um, so the implementation, we consume the item events in the, in the, in the previous de uh, de described way. Um, actually, as I said, we need an initial state. But initial state only have one state is not enough. So which means every point we want to, uh, we want to have to go back to the very beginning for in then calculate back. So we create this snapshot every hour. Um, then I, if we query any time in between. We just need to find the previous hour snapshot and apply the, the, the difference in between. Um, to speed up, of course, we can create index for this snapshot. We only need 24, uh, uh, in, in, only need index for 24 snapshot in a day. Um, this is all built on Spark and uh, uh, with the Scala. Um, and the, all the result, all the internal data are stored as uh, Spark data from it. So the advantages that all the other ETL stuff uh, can be integrated with, um, with, with, the, with the result. Uh, we provide Scala and Python API. Python API is actually important, like a majority of data science using Python or R inside of Stitch Fix. Uh, that, that's a uh, uh, little bit rough. Thank you.